Hey guys, Steve Walsh here with Beam Toyota in Nashville. Um, wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about the lane tracing system on most of your new Toyotas. So um, what the lane tracing system is, is actually it's pretty cool. So if you, it watches via a camera that's actually right up here behind the mirror. And if you look on the outside of the vehicle, you'll see that camera that's up there. Um, but what it does is it uses that camera and it watches your line. So as you're driving, if you were to kind of depart over, it will give you a beep, 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 and it would bump your steering wheel and it would turn you back uh, into your lane. All right, so, um, and that's, there, there's two specific things with the lane tracing that are important to know about that. So if you don't have the dynamic radar cruise control, which I'll explain in a second, on, that's the way it works. It just bumps you back in your lane, It'll let you go to the other side, it'll beep, beep, beep again, it'll bump you back in your lane, it'll kind of pinball you. Well, there's also, so that's the lane departure system, but within that same system, there is a lane tracing system. So what is the lane tracing? What the lane tracing will do is it actually watches the car ahead of you, the road edge, uh, it watches the lines with your fog line, your center line, it watches all of your lines to help to keep you in the center of your lane. There is a caveat to that. You have to be in the cruise control system and in the dynamic cruise control system. So I'm gonna kind of show you a couple things here on this car so you kind of have an idea, all right? So this right here is your lane departure and your lane tracing system. So if I hit this button, you'll see it says LTA, steering assist active, lane centering active. That second one, phrase lane centering I'm going to tell you about as well all right so but if we come back down here we kind of look back here this is something that you're going to want to see so you have this right here radar cruise active right and then this I'm going to hit this you'll see up over here there's a little thing now this isn't a RAV4 but most of your Toyotas will be the exact same way okay so but like I said, I'm in a Toyota on this, but while you hit set on this, and it doesn't matter the distance you set, but if you have this turned on, this turned on, and then this set, and you're in the dynamic cruise control, it becomes lane tracing and it watches those lines. You can also see if I shut this off, so those lanes went away up there. So you have, turn it back on, those lanes come up, and then you hit that and it shows your cruise control, right? So you can actually see all of that if you want to, right? Um, so I wanted to show you this because there's a couple things that uh, are within this lane departure system or lane tracing system that's actually pretty cool. So like I said, while you're in this system, it can turn on the lane tracing, which is meant to keep you more in your lane. And then you also have lane centering. So I'm gonna show you, if you kind of come over here and we're gonna watch the center area here. So I'm gonna use these buttons and I'm gonna go to the right until I see the settings menu. And then very top, that one that's highlighted says LTA. I'm gonna press and hold the center button. So once I've done that, now I'm in here. So now you see where it says lane center on. So I can turn that lane center off and now it just dropped that second word, right? So I come back and hit this, now I'm lane centering active. So I've had people before, and I know that this is kind of where Toyota's come on it, and I'll, I'll kind of talk to you guys here, that have said, man, I I've, I've have to fight the steering wheel to, to keep it, because it always wants me to be in a certain spot. If you shut off the lane centering, you're not gonna have that issue because what the car is trying to do is it's trying to look and give you an equal distance from each side of the lane. So that way you're you know more centered. Well, I know a lot of people, um, including within my own family that say, man, I'd really prefer to kind of ride the road edge a little bit more. So you might be a foot off of the road line and two feet off the center. Well, lane center is gonna try to get you into that center of that lane. And, and people say, man, I'm, I'm fighting that steering wheel a little bit. Well, if you shut off that lane centering, you're not gonna have that, but it's still gonna kind of help you trace from where you are at in the lane. So you set yourself up in the lane, it's gonna try to help you trace that lane. It will feel a little less sensitive. You can adjust the sensitivity if you want to, but if you're not with the lane centering, it's gonna feel a little less sensitive, but you're also not gonna fight the wheel. If you like being in the center of the lane, Man, lane centering is a great thing and you're gonna really like it, all right? So the other thing that I wanna show you, and I'm gonna kinda come back down over here again, 
You also get sensitivity. So if I come down here, you know, see I got the sensitivity there and you can basically hit that center button and go more sensitive or less sensitive, right? Then the next one is sway warning. So a lot of people talk about, hey, this coffee cup shows up and it asked me to take a break, right? That right there, shut off the sway warning and you're gonna usually disable that coffee cup, right? Um, and then your sensitivity, that's basically the same thing. It's just seeing how much you're swaying, right? But you're gonna shut off that coffee cup. So you don't have to final approve or anything like that. You just get back out of there and you're gonna have done that. But that is all part of your lane system. And like I said, there's if, if you kind of look, and I'll show you on the outside here because there's no point not showing you that. So if you look, you'll see there's a camera. It's right there. All right, that camera, yeah, well, I'm right here. Yeah. That camera does not record. Um, it's not saving anything or anything along those lines. But what it's doing is that that's what's watching your lines. And that's also why you have that little bit of that triangle, trapezoid, whatever you want to call that. That's kind of there. Because it's looking for those lines to be within that. If you just had the camera looking, it, it might not see it like it's supposed to. But um, you'll also see some things like the Corolla where that, that it's expanded a little bit. So some of the cars have a bit wider of a range that they can see. So it, it's all kind of different, but the gist is the same pretty much on all your safety sense. Um, as long as it's not like on a previous gen Tundra uh, current, uh, you know, meaning 24 or um, older of the Forerunner, the Tacoma prior to the 24 years, um, those all did not have the lane tracing or even the lane departure system because they all had the uh, the rack and pinion system. They did not have electronic steering. So you need to have the electronic steering for that to work. So I know we're a little bit louder out here, but you need to have the electronic steering for that to work, which is why as we get more and more of that, I know the 25 Forerunner will have it. Um, I know that the new Tacoma is coming with it and I know the, the Tundra's got it. So um, we're pretty much everything's gonna have that system. It's just you can find some fairly new cars that don't. So I know I'm getting long-winded. You guys always tell me about it, appreciate you. Um, but definitely like uh, and, and uh, subscribe for me if you guys could. But uh, hopefully that helped you a little bit with the lane departure system. Steve Blush, you guys have a great day. We'll talk to you soon, bye.